Hello you wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be giving you the first retro review on the channel of the 2018 Virtual Riot EP German Engineering. This was and it is the 6th Disciple EP and I think the 7th outright from none other than Mr. Valentin Brunn, Virtual Riot. Arriving at a time when recognition of him as one of, if not the very best in dubstep, in that moment was pretty widespread. Not only gaining a real momentum with his own individual releases, thinking of the Knockout Collab EP, Chemistry, and the fantastic fantastic melody-driven throwback which came before this one, but also through collaborations with the likes of Kill the Noise and Getter, remixes for the likes of Flux Pavilion and Pegboard Nerds, and also beyond that working with other Disciple musicians along the way like Barely Alive and Dubloads and Phase One, working his way up as the poster boy for the modern dubstep sound with originators like Skrillex having abandoned it almost entirely, and also becoming the face of Disciple in the process, the label rising more and more with every project he put out. Entering the year 2018, very much at the peak of his powers, practically everything that he produced being an instant hit, even the lighter forms of EDM that he was making along the way. And it's at this point that I have to return quickly to Chemistry and Throwback to remind ourselves of just how fantastic they were as well. The former Chemistry in a way being an introduction to how great Virtual Riot is at collaborations, how well his style could function alongside others. A great idea for an EP and creating some impactful results in these mad face-offs of sound. And the latter Throwback being a compelling and nostalgia-laced voyage into the origins of his design, executed with his current and up-to-date production at that point, which had improved leaps and bounds year on year. Again, it just made for some really brilliant music, and for many, it's the best Virtual Riot EP. And so after those two, I personally was left thinking like, shit, on the EP front, where's he gonna go from here? Those two were mad. The answer being one of the best variety EPs, as in those with multiple genres on show, that modern bass music has seen, as little did we know, with 31st of January 2018 rolling around, the best display of his ability had yet to be heard. And it's at this point that I'm going to chime in with what I mean by a retro review. Now, this kind of review is going to be reserved for collections that came out a while ago, but still recently, you know, up to four or five years or so ago, which aren't quite classic yet, but are still amazing, and which either came out before I started the channel, or which I reviewed at the beginning of the channel being a thing, and which I don't think I did justice the first time around. Often there'll be projects that have grown on me a lot, and which I want to revisit, because I've also grown as a reviewer, you know, past pieces of work that I want to celebrate without them quite being a classic yet, and all of that considered, I think German engineering fits perfectly. Now, to give a bit of personal context, 2017 was not a year that I enjoyed much when it came to dubstep music. Bro step or any kind of dubstep with that wild energy was very much the style that got me into it from around 2010 or so, you know, it was what I was used to, and in that year, 2017, the bro step or Terror Squad dominance, if you will, kind of subsided with Rhythm edging further to the front. Dubstep for the most part becoming a lot stodgier and formulaic and one dimensional and not as wacky and off the wall and less melody generally as well. The life being sapped out of the genre somewhat. That year I just remember enjoying it so little that I really wondered how exactly it could be done well. But with German Engineering, Virtual Riot hopped on that trend to unleash it in a new way altogether. We have the opener, literally called Pray for Rhythm, which is probably the most epic the genre's ever been. Not only the grandiose church organ introduction and the Team Fortress 2 vocal samples and the length of the track overall, but also the dubstep itself, which, while still displaying the formulaic tendencies that had popularized Rhythm up to that point, is delivered with a punch and awareness that takes the experience of it up to another level. You can see what I mean. I remember hearing it for the first time and getting lost in the bounce of it. All the synths just angled perfectly and realising that my understanding of rhythm and how it could be delivered was transforming there and then. Oh yeah, and that track, Pray For Rhythm, melodically fantastic and the progression of it is spot on. But continuing with the rhythm revelation that I was having with this EP, it's also apparent on track 3, Chop Chop. Again here deploying Team Fortress samples really well, but the overall tune nowhere near as expansive, a lot more contained and well packaged, I just... I love the tension of it throughout. And the rhythm here, it's so chunky, it's so thick, it's so 
sinewy and the changes from one drop to another are subtle but really good. <laughs> Track 5 computer music carries on in that vein with more bouncy, clanky, metallic rhythm. The first half showcasing maybe the only drop that I find a bit too static on the EP. Not quite enough going on. But the second is one of my favourites on the whole collection. Pure, larger than life, colossal, rhythmy dubstep. Just so fat, so naughty. <laughs> Also, the hazy, kind of distant midsection here is just stunningly executed and one of the best he's made, in my opinion, which is really saying something. But with those three, Pray For Rhythm, Chop Chop, Computer Music, it's almost as if with them I realised the importance of good production in bass music. The drop ideas were pretty much as straightforward as the rhythm I hadn't enjoyed previous to that. The formula was the same, but the production quality just gave it an impact and definition that took my appreciation of it up exponentially. Just before computer music though, we have track 4, Jump the Gun, which is one of the best experiments from a predominantly dubstep musician that I've ever heard. Put <laughs> simply, Virtual Riot style in a jump up D&B format and yeah, it is very much as captivating as it sounds. The timing and positioning of every single sound here is just practically perfect. I mean the note placement in the heaviness of course, but also I think the builds which deserve a special mention here. Again, that thing of formulating tension in the exact right way, just like Chop Chop. <laughs> Another example, moreover, of the fact that his style can translate into any genre, in many ways the hallmark of a great producer. To finish, we have The Darkest Night, which is a gorgeous future garage, chill step, hybrid kind of tune. Beautiful time-stopping feel to it, and the vocal chopping giving it a very strong early Skrillex kind of vibe. <laughs> intense second drop has never quite fitted in with the general dreamlike delivery for me, but regardless, the production front to back is insane and the outro winds it down really well. It's just such a lovely and reflective way to end the EP. German engineering though of course being a six track EP, one of which you may have noticed I've yet to talk about, the mammoth show up with Virus Syndicate, which I'm leaving until last here because I've realised the excellence of it more and more over time. In my opinion, standing head and shoulders above the other five as the true centrepiece of the collection. You know, I'm tempted to just say what doesn't it have, as opposed to saying what's good about it, but nah, I've got to heap the praise on here. I love the allure of the introduction, the way it slowly brings you in, and how all the individual elements are so different, yet they work together so well, and you can hear them all really, really clearly. The first drop I originally wasn't that big on, it felt a bit stuck, but over time I've come to recognise not only the mastery of the way it's composed, the dubstep we get there, but also the uniqueness of it. I don't think I could say that I've heard a drop like it since or before. The second drop being the perfect answer to it as well, as this explosion of ravenous sound just blaring out at you. Again, the awareness here of where all the notes are placed, the way it's cut, it just completely has you in its grasp. The outro being another brilliant wind down of what happens before it, and uh, Lest I forget the midsection, you know, before we've already talked about great Virtual Riot midsections with computer music, but this one is just, for me, another level up on that. It's even better. The way the dust settles and the strings that creep in, the vocal chopped over the top, the percussion going into quick time, delivered in such a graceful way, and maybe my favourite section on the whole EP. <laughs> That, that is God tier. Touched on it briefly before, but also can't forget the part that Virus Syndicate play here. I think this is the best I've ever heard them. I'm just gonna put it out there. The character and hype of their lyrics are maxed up here. The different flows that we get for different sequences and yeah, they just fit over the instrumental in the best way. I genuinely can't think of how they would do a better job. So yeah, German Engineering, a monstrous EP, 
One that I've appreciated a lot more over time, I can't say that enough. Originally thought the rhythm leaning stuff was decent, but a bit too plain with the ideas, and with that playing such a big part overall, I ended up not enjoying the collection that much as a thing. But over the last three years, hearing it again and again, I've realised just how on point his take on rhythm music was. Showing people like me, who maybe weren't that into it, just how good it can be when all the elements function together well and properly. The EP has also got arguably his most memorable vocal samples, it's got some of his best midsections, it's got the introductions, which I think each set up what's to follow really well, and a load of really good second drop changes too. Every tune here extremely memorable in one way or another, and it just has an iconic feel to it, all in all. Project I'm very very happy to have gone back to and revisited here for this video. But yeah, there we have it, the first retro review on the channel of the 2018 EP from Virtual Riot German Engineering. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. But now I want to hear from all of you. Has German Engineering stood at the test of time? You know, only three years, but still, yeah, has it aged well? Are you happy that I covered it again? And also, what else do you want to see me do a retro review of? Drop all of your views, thoughts, and opinions in the comments section down below. But beyond that, subscribe if you yet to, and hit the bell along the way if you want some more bass-related content in your life. And also the Discord and my social media accounts are linked below in the description. And beyond that, the Naughty Step Patreon page, which is now live and has been for a few days now. It's in full swing, got a fair few people on board already. And yeah, if you want to help the channel grow and see it reach its full potential and also get a load of exclusive or bonus content and access along the way, then yeah, see you there. You can check out the link below and the different tiers so that you can get involved. But yeah, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Peace.